What are you telling me my people, what are you lot saying, I hope you lot are doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you lot about 8 things that you should do at uni. Let's get into it. So if you lot don't know right now, I'm actually in my final year at university. It's actually gone so quick, like I even remember moving here. And it's going uni to... It's been so quick man, all oh, my days but yeah. Gonna start my first YouTube video, moving there into the University of Lincoln. This is my room, chair, bed, stuff here. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice place still. Bathroom. It's like a wet room. But yeah. Um, but yeah, it's 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 literally been a journey and it's just got it's just gone so quick it's like time never waits for anyone number one have to be budgeting in my first year i was actually quite decent with money but it was not until second year where i didn't really really use it wisely there was one instance where i gave most of my student loan to this guy he was a friend of a friend and i just wanted to support him um in any way that i could because he he just needs some financial support but um literally me i tried to give him some money and it was actually most of my student loans so people don't don't do this don't do what i did i know from my mistakes now but listen listen to what i'm saying so i gave him quite a lot of my student loan which uh, was a, a very very dumb idea i didn't pay two months of my rent because i didn't use my money wisely as i said but in the end i got my money back in the end that's one thing i'll never do again and that is one of the dumbest mistakes that i've ever made in my life but i've learned from it i've actually learned from it but with budgeting this is what you should do with me i now go to tesco there's a new tesco near the Brayford that i just opened up and i go to lidl as well because those are the two places that are quite cheap if you want to do a large shop i would definitely recommend you lot to go to either tesco or lidl the weekly shop that i do is around 25 pounds i make sure to do a whole shopping list so that i will know um what i can have for breakfast lunch and dinner each day the second tip would be um join a society i didn't join a society i don't know why i didn't I would have met more people if I did but um, if I had to join a society right now it would either be like athletics, basketball, ACS, just one of those societies where I'll just find my, my type of people. I'm the type of guy that I like to joke about, I like to just have fun with people so people like that that's the type of people I would like to meet in them type of societies. So yeah I would say to join a society because you could meet like your friend or like a group of friends that could be your friends for life you never know what could happen so with a society not only do you meet a lot of people with like unique personalities and stuff but you actually will get better at the society that you chose number three do your assignments in advance in my first year at uni i actually did pretty well i got two first three two ones four two twos and three first i did pretty well in my second year overall i i did uh before i had to reset because i had to reset two modules since i failed them both so i had to reset them in order to progress onto my third year at university after i did resets overall i got three two ones three two twos as well three three thirds so i did i did decent in my second year but when i was doing my resets it was just so long i hated it because i didn't really apply myself properly in second year i left some assignments to the last minute which is not good because if you if you do that you're going to either have to reset um the modules that you failed or if you fail a lot of modules then you're going to have to reset the whole year and nobody wants to do that literally you don't want to do that complete your assignments on time like when you do that you'll just feel at peace you have a calmer mind because you know that you've produced high quality work and you've done it in advance literally you have much more free time to do what you want once you've completed all your assignments on time. Number four would have to be organize meetings with your module coordinators. I only started to do that um, when I was doing my resets where I actually emailed um, one of my module coordinators so he could um, simplify the criteria for me because I didn't really truly understand what was required for the assignment. So when I asked him, he literally sent me a very simplified version to, so I could understand how to apply myself for the assignment. And then I literally was able to do it and I got on with the assignment and then I ended up with a 2-1 from going from a fail to a 2-1. Literally, the, the module coordinators are there to help you. They're there to educate you on the module, on the chosen craft that you've, you've chosen. So use them wisely, like take advantage of them, ask for help, literally organize meetings with them, go, up, go to them face to face and, and just ask them questions on what you want to know. For, exa for example, one of my assignments for this um, 
for this year, my third year, I emailed the module coordinator because I wanted to ask her how I can structure my essay. And she literally sent me a whole structure and even a few points that I could make from my essay. She literally sent that. She didn't, she didn't need to send that. She could have just sent the structure and how I can apply it to my own essay. But she literally sent me a structure and points that I could make as well to, to make me get a higher grade. So from her doing that, it literally helps me throughout completing the essay. Number five would have to be, definitely have to be cook more. In my first year, I actually cooked quite a bit. In my second year, I cooked here and there, but not on a consistent basis. Like It was that days where I was just being very lazy with myself and I, I was like, oh, I can't be asked to cook this and that. And that's not good. Like, And this is where I ended up not budgeting and not using my money wisely because I was using it on takeaways. It's not good for you. One, it's not good for your health. You're either just gonna end up fat, you're gonna just get spots all over your face, and you're not gonna be feeling good at all. You're gonna be looking in the mirror and then you're gonna regret eating all those fast food. Learn how to cook, like ask your family members, ask your friends, ask your parents, like just to teach you how to cook some stuff. So when you come to uni, you'll be able to cook and just cook healthier meals because when you cook healthier meals and you just take care of your body, you just feel much better with yourself. Your mindset is clear. In general, you actually feel more productive. Number six, I would definitely have to say, if your course offers it offers this, then I would say just do it. And it's take a year abroad. Some courses offer that, like my course um did it in second year, but I didn't do it because I didn't do it because some of the lessons and the modules that they were teaching were just theory based and well, that's most of, the, most of the things that happen with film production here. What I've noticed, they've, a lot of it's theory and there's not many practical stuff. So if, if I had to improve this course, it would definitely just make everything practical. But um, I would say if your course offers it, then go for it because you're investing yourself in a whole new experience and I think you'll definitely enjoy yourself. You'll be in another country, you'll meet a lot of people, you'll be able to network and yeah, you'll just make some unforgettable memories. Number seven, I would have to say, use uni days, take advantage of that. If you don't know what uni days is, I'll put the link in the description below. Uni days is pretty much an app that is mainly for university students. You can get a variety of discounts on food, clothing, beauty products, a whole load of stuff. Number eight would have to be go to student services. I went I went to student services um, so I could get help with my financial support and they actually give you grants and they just give you a lot of advice on many different things. Now I just I really want to talk about the things that I did well at uni. Um, I literally just was being myself. I didn't really change up myself just so other people could like me. I literally was just being myself. I met so many new people and made a lot of amazing memories. In terms of finances, I now understand how to budget my money. Um, I didn't get into no more unnecessary debt like getting a credit card because if you're not in the position to pay up front immediately, then you're just gonna get yourself into more unnecessary debt. Also, I feel like I've definitely grown as an individual. Every single year, I've always been quite a tidy person. Like with my room, I always try to keep it tidy. I don't like mess. I don't like living in a messy, in a messy place. So with my room, I just make sure to keep it tidy at all times. I, I was like this even since first year. Always love to just smell clean, look good, look after myself. Even though I can't really get haircuts from my dad because he's back in London with my mum, but I still look after myself and keep myself looking looking good and presentable. Also, I feel like from uni, I've just been able to truly understand what I want to do afterwards. So I intend to get a video editing internship and then once I'm in that position on YouTube where I can actually do it full time and I have more than five income streams, then I'll do YouTube full time. And obviously travel the world, invest in new experiences. And yeah, I, I have a lot in mind that I want to do after uni. But yeah, um, I hope you lot enjoyed this video. I hope that I was able to like truly give you some advice and just educate you on what to do at uni. And yeah, you lot will see more videos like this. So subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Subscribe to my other channel, Living Like Kazo which is like more entertainment based videos a lot of more videos is going to be on that channel you lot will see me in the next one follow the socials they'll be linked in the description below and yeah i'll see you lot later peace